Alexia. I'm Castro and Jack Mark. Puri. That's what we're going to see today. The way my hand goes, it's like Puri means the swelled chapati. We are going to do it with exactly the same wheat flour, but we are going to deep fry it in oil so they just swell like that and they are really yummy and tasty food kids would just love it they will play with it they will just poke their fingers and see the steam coming out of it while you're doing that just be careful but puris are really yummy and it's an all-time favorite dish let's look at how to do this wonderful dish with less of oil yet nice to eat two cups of wheat flour salt to taste some oil and water. Now let's look into how to make this puri dough. Uh, there are some important instructions we'll have to follow while doing this dough. For chapati, we have to nicely knead it and uh, the more time is allowed to rest, the more softer the chapatis are. And uh, we make a much softer dough for chapatis. But when we are doing puris, what happens is, it should be as early as possible. Like just more than 10 to 15 minutes is sufficient for the puri dough to get done well. And then you can start rolling out your puris. So your puris will not absorb much of oil and they become fluffy and they do not uh, go down very quickly. So we need not add anything, just salt, one spoon of oil and we are going to make a tough dough. We are not going to make it a soft and pliable dough like chapati. It's going to be a comparatively tough dough. Now let's look into how to do this. Add one spoon or salt as per your taste, one spoon of oil, now while starting to add the water, be careful, add it slowly, little by little. This to your work table and knead it well. Can you see the step? We don't want the puri to absorb much of oil, so we'll have to have a very stiff, tight floor, very stiff and firm dough. So you'll have to knead like this, then only you will get that firmness. Very stiff. Now leave it to rest for just 10 to 15 minutes. Again, we need it, knead it nicely and start rolling out our piece. Now look at this after 10 minutes. Just give it some mild press and knead it to a nice dough. Now just divide them into small portions and make a small rounds. Give some Press with your center palm and then make it into a small round like this. First take a small ball, put it in between your palms, press it like this and you get a small round like this. We are going to make these small flat round rolls to the dry floor and then make the puri, roll out the puris. Because if you want a round puri, then you'll have to make a small ball, press it in between your palm and then again press it so that you get the round shape. The round shape will be maintained. Now one more thing is, because it is little firm and dry, too much of flour will not stick to your puri dough. And it will be easy to remove them and you can put them on the oil and you can also see that they don't change the color of your oil. Let it not be too thin or too thick. So we have rolled out nice puris. Now let's fry them in oil. As I told you, just dust the sides of it so that if there is any excess flour, they will go out of them. So heat some oil in a pan. Well, for this puri, I would like to tell one more uh, important point and issue. The oil should be very hot. And then only the puris will puff up. So see to that your oil is hot before dropping the puri inside. 
Just drop a small piece and see if it is coming up immediately. It's ready. Just pat on the top of the pudding so that they come up well. Look our puddings are ready. Again one small instruction. Before dropping the other puri, just give one or two seconds of break for the oil to recover its complete heat. Just look how lovely these puffed puris are. Look how crispy. Can you see the steam escaping out of the puri? So dear friends, hope you enjoyed the session of making these lovely puris. They are very crispy at the same time soft. They have not absorbed much of oil. Follow the tips very carefully. Make a stiff and a firm dough. We need not add anything, just sweet flow. And then rest it for 15 to 20 minutes and start doing your puris immediately. Watch carefully about the oil. Let it be very hot and give one or two seconds gap between puri to puri so that they rise up nicely. After putting the puris in the oil, just slightly press on the top with your uh, ladders so that they puff up quickly and evenly. Dear friends, hope you enjoyed the session. So dear friends, that's it pizza. Always enhance your taste buds. If you like this video, press like, subscribe to those at pizza and for your printable recipes, visit thesetapizza.com Thank you and bye bye